Hey crafters, this is Paulette in Missouri. I never shared the items that I acquired through the month of June. And I'm such a funny bird that I have to do things in order. So I'm trying to get July and August posted and then realized I'm missing June. So at card class, I ordered this tea party stamp set, which is so cute. I love these images. This stamp set runs $16.95, and because I was under my $20 commitment for class, I also ordered one of these fun new colors in the new ink pad, Coastal Cabana, and it's just beautiful. I was afraid that it might be close to Tempting Turquoise. Now, this little oval right here was sponged with Tempting Turquoise, and you can see it makes this Coastal Cabana look a bit green. So they're totally different colors, so that's good. I did, in the month of August, acquire this oval die set that, that goes with this stamp set. Two of the dies from the oval set, and this is called Framelit Ovals Collection 129381. These are by Sizzix. Two of the dies cut this image and this image. There's a lot of fun little treat holders on the internet from that oval die set as well. This is the large tag punch. I have both of them and I did experiment. The small tag punch will work with this image as well. It just it will capture the thank you and some of this pattern. The large punch leaves a little white border, you know, similar to to this. So really fun. I also won this lovely little stamp set from Marion Vag's blog. Marion lives in Australia and she is on the design team for Annabelle Stamps. And so this is called Gifted Swirls and I just love it. I will probably use this for my Christmas cards this year. I love this sweet little tree. I especially love these stars. I think they'll just be so much fun. There's three greetings in here, Star of Night, Star of Wonder, and then, of course, Season's Greetings up here at the top. There's three sweet little snowflakes, a faceted star, and then this kind of starburst, which is really fun. So, thank you so much, Marian. And then she made me this beautiful tag with a personal handwritten note. I just think it's such a sweet touch. It takes extra time to do that. I don't know where these ladies find time to do that. I purchased this hot melt pot. Um, I had won some products from Tammy Tuttero's blog, and this is just one of those crafts that I just never invested in. I didn't know if it was something I would really do and utilize. You know, I, I'm kind of that, uh, your standard crafter, you know, I, I've done, um, you know, made candles. I've done the polymer clay and done a little bit of beading and you know the card making is my niche and it is something that I am in constant need of I think that's why it keeps it going for me so I this was $39.99 uh, I used a 50% coupon I used my 50% AC More coupon because Michaels takes the competitor coupon, so it cost me $20. The past videos that I have watched, everybody said be sure and purchase this spatula. Well, it comes in the package now. You get the, the melt pot, the lid, and the spatula all together. And I have these little molds. These are some Martha Stewart molds. And then I have a couple of molds that are the Wilton cake decorating molds as well. And I had purchased these to use with some just the polymer clay because I can bake them, pop them out, bake them, and then you can paint them or color them however you want to. Well, I had written in to Martha Stewart just on their ask questions area to see if I could use the melted UD in these molds and no one got back to me. I waited a full week and I just ended up going ahead and doing it. Everybody on the web is doing it. And I made this little strawberry. This set's really cute. It has the little cupcakes and it has these little bows. 
the cherries and the strawberry and my strawberry turned out pretty good I did trim it a little bit around the top with some scissors the ones I made in this mold did not turn out very good my buttons are very sad but you know I didn't I only melted a little bit of UD what you see here is what I melted and I used all of it except for that last little bit of residue that remained in here and then I wiped that out with a paper towel but just just where they went into the mold wasn't very pretty and they weren't level and I really think it has to do with you know when you're pouring that down into the mold it's already cooling off as you're pouring it so it's just one of those things you're gonna have to practice with the cool thing is you can take all of these and put them back in here and remelt them <laughs> and do some more experimenting. So I will have to do do some more do some more experimenting. I also purchased these antibacterial hand wipes. I went to a card party recently and one of the ladies there had brought these and when I cleaned off the rubber stamps there was no fuzz, no frizz. You know, I have been using my Equate baby wipes, and you know, for the most part, they work pretty good. But there's a lot of, you know, there's obviously a lot of fibers on this, and you know, they're made for, let's see if I can get the fibers on the edge. Uh, they're made for one use and then throw away. These are a little bit thinner. And I just cleaned this Coastal Cabana, this stamp here, after I stamped that image. And, you know, they're a little bit fibrous, too. And after a while, you know, if you really, um, you know, pulled on it and destroyed it, you can see the fibers. But they did not come off on the stamp. So, you know, you can use it two or three times and then toss it away. The ultimate best is actually the stamp cleaner. And I do have some Stampin' Up! stamp cleaner and a homemade, you know, stamp cleaner pad. So, anyway, really fun. Well, our video is very short today. I feel like I'm leaving something out. I do have some other things that I'll be sharing for July and August. And if you have any questions, be sure and let me know.